what's something families can do that can put them in a, a better spot with their finances? It doesn't have to be complicated, just something that's going to get them moving forward. Yeah. I think a fa- if, if a couple sat mm-hmm. down mm-hmm. and had a family meeting, take an hour, and in that meeting, if they had their pay stubs and their latest bank statement and credit card statement, um, in an hour, I think they could probably figure out how much money do we have coming in, mm-hmm. and then from that, subtract what their goals are. You know, if you want to be saving for retirement, make sure you're saving 15% or 20% of your income to retirement. If you're saving for college, make sure you're putting away at least $200 per child, right? Mm-hmm. We could do some calculations yeah. to figure out the exact number, but if you just want to spend an hour doing something, you could just use those numbers to quickly come up with those two goals right away. And if, of course, mm-hmm. if you have other goals that you're trying to accomplish, let's say it's building a, a cash reserve or something yeah. like that. Um, that's pretty easy calculation too. And then once you know what those three or four goals are, Mm -hmm. subtract those out of your income. You have your pay stub right there. Mm -hmm. It's already taken out all your taxes, your healthcare costs, um, all those premiums. Mm -hmm. And then what's left over, you know, sit down and talk about, well, how do we want to spend the the leftover money? Um, And sometimes when you subtract the goals from your income, it's a negative number. Right, so that means you probably need to readjust your goals because there's nothing. Yeah, left gotta for, tighten that belt. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing left for the soccer league fees and the coffee. So, um, so you might need to either Im- improve your income is mm-hmm. obviously one way to do it, or you may have to readjust your goals. So maybe you're retiring at 55 isn't in the cards, but retiring at 60 or 62 might work for you, and then you don't need to save as much per month for that goal. Um, but most people are probably going to find that they have a positive number after they subtract out their goals that they've dedicated. Mm-hmm. And then really it's up to the couple who probably have differing interests and ideas about how to spend that money, but um, to sit down and, and come to an agreement as to what they're going to spend that money on. Mm-hmm. And, um, and obviously you have to you know, keep the house going with electricity <laughs> and things like that. But, um, but you should be able to come down to what the fund money is. And that's mm-hmm. precisely why you have your bank statement there. Cause yeah. you'll probably see where you're spending the money on cable. You know, if you still have a landline, uh, Netflix, Amazon prime, Hulu, you know, yeah, it's all right there on your credit card and bank statement. So you'll probably realize like my wife and I recently did, they were still paying $45 a month for a landline just to get, crank calls and, and robo calls, <laughs> you know, so we're going to be canceling that soon. But I, I'm sure other people can find other things that they forgot that they probably mm-hmm. have a, a, um, a regular subscription to a magazine or something mm-hmm. that they don't even read anymore or something they're not doing anymore. So that's, that would be my tip of the week is really yeah. to have that little brief one hour meeting. If you have the, the pay stub and your statements, you, you could get a lot accomplished. Yeah, I, I think that's wonderful to um, really sit down and review because too often, I don't know about you, but with like two little ones, we have one eight, the other four. It's like your day to day, you're so busy. So t- sometimes those subscriptions that you've been paying for, it keeps going, but you're not actually using it. So, you know, even right. if you, you know, take time, you know, once every month to make sure like, are we still enjoying this? Is this something that matters to us? And kind of redirecting right. that money. Um, I love that, Drew. And if I took away something from this conversation, it is that personal finance, as cliche as it sounds, is really personal. The online calculators can be handy, you know, to kind of get you something to shoot for. But if you really want something tailored, you have to focus on your family's particular needs and goals. So guys, if you're listening right now and you want to have a plan that's made for you and your family, please check out Coastal. Go to bankbetter.org. Drew is part of Coastal's wealth management team. They're dedicated. I've talked with a lot of them. All of them are not just financially savvy, but real people that are interested in not just um, having you have a perfect budget, but a budget for real life, a budget where you're enjoying life and still hitting your goals. So thank you, Drew, right. for coming back on. I always enjoyed our conversations. Thank you.